The Erasmus Programme European Community Action Scheme for the Mobility of University Students is a European Union EU student exchange programme established in 1987. Erasmus Plus, or Erasmus Plus, is the new programme combining all the EU's current schemes for education, training, youth and sport, which was started in January 2014. The Erasmus programme, together with a number of other independent programmes, was incorporated into the Socrates programme established by the European Commission in 1994. The Socrates programme ended on 31 December 1999 and was replaced with the Socrates II programme on 24 January 2000, which in turn was replaced by the Lifelong Learning programme 2007-2013 on 1 January 2007. History Topic. Origins of the name The program is named after the Dutch philosopher, theologian, Renaissance humanist, monk, and devout Roman Catholic, Desiderius Erasmus of Rotterdam, called, "...the crowning glory of the Christian humanists." Erasmus, along with his good friend Thomas More, became the centre of European intellectual life during the Renaissance. Known for his satire, Erasmus urged internal reform of the Catholic Church. He encouraged a recovery of the Catholic patristic tradition against contemporary abuses of the sacraments and certain excessive devotional practices. He famously clashed with Protestant revolutionary Martin Luther on the subject of free will. Erasmus is a backronym meaning European Community Action Scheme for the Mobility of University Students. Topic. 1987 European Commission proposal By the time the Erasmus programme was adopted in June 1987, the European Commission had been supporting pilot student exchanges for six years. It proposed the original Erasmus programme in early 1986, but reaction from the then member states varied, those with substantial exchange programmes of their own essentially France, Germany and the United Kingdom were broadly hostile, the remaining countries were broadly in favour. Exchanges between the member states and the European Commission deteriorated, and the latter withdrew the proposal in early 1987 to protest against the inadequacy of the triennial budget proposed by some member states. Topic. European Court of Justice decision This method of voting was not accepted by some of the opposing member states, who challenged the adoption of the decision before the European Court of Justice. Although the court held that the adoption was procedurally flawed, it maintained the substance of the decision. A further decision, adapted in the light of the jurisprudence, was rapidly adopted by the Council of Ministers. Topic: Adoption and Growth. The program built on the 1981-1986 pilot student exchanges, and although it was formally adopted only shortly before the beginning of the academic year 1987-1988, it was still possible for 3,244 students to participate in Erasmus in its first year. In 2006, over 150,000 students, or almost 1% of the European student population, took part. The proportion is higher among university teachers, where Erasmus teacher mobility is 1.9% of the teacher population in Europe, or 20,877 people. In the past 20 years, over 2 million students have benefited from Erasmus grants, and the European Commission aims to reach a total of 3 million by 2012. Topic. Lifelong Learning Program 2007 to 2013 
The Lifelong Learning Program 2007-2013 replaced the Socrates Program as the overall umbrella under which the Erasmus and other programs operate from 2007. Erasmus Mundus The Erasmus Mundus program is another, parallel program that is oriented towards globalizing European education. Whereas the Erasmus program is open to Europeans, Erasmus Mundus is open to non-Europeans with Europeans being exceptional cases. Citizens' Initiative for More Money 2014-2020 On 9 May 2012, Fraternité 2020 was registered as Europe's first European Citizens' Initiative. Its goal was to increase the budget for EU exchange programmes like Erasmus or the European Voluntary Service from 2014. To be successful it would have needed 1 million signatures by 1 November 2013. It ultimately collected only 71,057 signatures from citizens across the EU. <laughs> Erasmus Plus 2014-2020 Erasmus Plus 2014 to 2020 also called Erasmus Plus is the new 14.7 billion euro catch all framework program for education training youth and sport the new Erasmus Plus program combines all the EU's current schemes for education, training, youth and sport, including the Lifelong Learning Programme Erasmus, Leonardo da Vinci, Comenius, Gruntivig, Youth in Action and five international cooperation programmes Erasmus Mundus, Tempus, Alpha, Edulink and the Programme for Cooperation with Industrialized Countries. The Erasmus Plus regulation was signed on the 11th of December 2013. Erasmus Plus provides grants for a wide range of actions including the opportunity for students to undertake work placements abroad and for teachers and education staff to attend training courses. Erasmus Plus Key Action 1 provides a unique opportunity for teachers, headmasters, trainers and other staff of education institutions to participate in international training courses in different European countries. The staff home institution shall apply to receive the grant to send its staff members abroad for training. Erasmus Plus also conducts projects in Central Asia's Kazakhstan. The program funded 40 projects involving 47 universities in Kazakhstan. The total sum of the grant amounted to more than 35.5 million euro. Topic: <laughs> Erasmus program 2021 to 2027. On 30 May, the European Commission adopted its proposal for the next Erasmus programme, with a doubling of the budget to €30 billion Euros for the period 2021-2027. Further negotiations will now take place with the European Parliament and the European Council before the final programme is adopted. Participation. There are currently more than 4,000 higher institutions participating in Erasmus across the 37 countries involved in the Erasmus program and by 2013, 3 million students had taken part since the program's inception in 1987. In 2012-13 alone, 270,000 took part, the most popular destinations being Spain, Germany, Italy and France. Erasmus students represented 5% of European graduates as of 2012. Studies have discussed issues related to the selection into the program and the representativeness of the participants. Some studies have raised doubts about the inclusiveness of the program, by socio-economic background, level of study, or academic performance. 
Thus, one study analyzes the financial issues and family background of Erasmus students, showing that despite the fact that access to the program has been moderately widened, there are still important socioeconomic barriers to participation in the program. Another study uncovered what seems to be an adverse self-selection of Erasmus students based on their prior academic performance, with higher performing students less likely to participate than lower performing ones. However, this case was based on a number of 400 graduates in a Spanish university only. Inversely, one study looking in details at French and Italian students found that the primary predictor of participation to Erasmus was students' prior academic records, not the occupation of their parents. Topic. Requirements The Erasmus program had previously been restricted to applicants who had completed at least one year of tertiary level study, but it is now also available to secondary school students. Topic. Details Students who join the Erasmus program study at least three months or do an internship for a period of at least two months to an academic year in another European country. The Erasmus program guarantees that the period spent abroad is recognized by their university when they come back, as long as they abide by terms previously agreed. Switzerland has been suspended as a participant in the Erasmus program as of 2015, following the popular vote to limit the immigration of EU citizens into Switzerland. As a consequence, Swiss students will not be able to apply for the program and European students will not be able to spend time at a Swiss university under that program. A main part of the program is that students do not pay extra tuition fees to the university that they visit. Students can also apply for an Erasmus grant to help cover the additional expense of living abroad. Students with disabilities can apply for an additional grant to cover extraordinary expenses. In order to reduce expenses and increase mobility, many students also use the European Commission supported accommodation network, CASASWAP, FLAT Club, Erasmusin, Erasmus, Erasmate, or Student Mundial, which are free websites where students and young people can rent, sublet, offer, and swap accommodation on a national and international basis. A derived benefit is that students can share knowledge and exchange tips and hints with each other before and after going abroad. Topic: The Erasmus Experience. Topic: Cultural Phenomenon. For many European students, the Erasmus program is their first time living and studying in another country. Hence, it has become a cultural phenomenon and is very popular among European students, going on to become the subject of movies such as the French film L'Auberge Espagnole, and the documentary Erasmus 24-7 The program fosters learning and understanding of the host country. The Erasmus experience is considered both a time for learning as well as a chance to socialize. Tutors are often keen for students of subjects such as politics or international relations to participate in Erasmus. It is seen as a great opportunity to study abroad while not having the expense of studying outside the European Union, since the grants available to Erasmus students are not available to those opting to leave the continent to study. Some academics have speculated that former Erasmus students will prove to be a powerful force in creating a pan-European identity. The political scientist Stefan Wolf, for example, has argued that, "...give it 15, 20 or 25 years, and Europe will be run by leaders with a completely different socialization from those of today," referring to the so-called Erasmus generation. Topic. In popular culture Topic. Film 
Most of the characters in the movie L'Auberge Espagnole are enrolled in the Erasmus program and the program plays a central role in the plot. Topic: <laughs> Books. Pakistani novelist Nimra Ahmed's novel, Janet K. Pat. Leaves of Heaven is based on the Erasmus program, where the protagonist Haya goes to Sabanji University through Erasmus Mundus, which marks a turning point in her life. <laughs> Café Babel The online public forum CafeBabel was founded in 2001 by Erasmus Exchange program students, and is headquartered in Paris. The forum is based on the principle of participatory journalism. As of July 2013 it had over 16,000 registered members, up to 1,500 contributors and 20 local offices writing about Europe as they see it. Volunteer contributors simultaneously translate the forum into six languages, French, English, German, Italian, Spanish and Polish. Topic. See also Academic Mobility Comenius Program Erasmus Student Network ESN, Nonprofit European Students Organization Association des Etats Généraux des Etudiants de l'Europe AEGE, -E, Nonprofit European Students Organization European Students Union ESU Nonprofit European Students Organization European Students of Industrial Engineering and Management ESTIEM Nonprofit European Students Organization European Credit Transfer System ECTS European Higher Education Area Socrates Network for Translator Training Student Exchange Program Public Diplomacy